Hi, this is Kevin from Dance35.com. Uh, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, uh, uh, normally I produce, or I won't say produce, but create my own YouTube content. Um, with that being said, um, I'm going to collaborate with uh, Solid Canine Training with Jeff there, and I'm going to have a video clip of introduction to e-collar from him, and then we're also going to, uh, he's also going to cover recall. So, thanks for visiting dash35.com and enjoy the next clip. Hey guys, Jeff Gilman, Solid Canine Training. I'm so excited today. Brand new dog, Shelby, never had a remote collar on. So I'm gonna show you how we start recall on a remote collar. Remember, if you're not familiar with remote collars, I got some awesome videos on my website, awesome videos on my YouTube channel. Remote collars were not shocking or zapping. It's actually pressure on, pressure off. So this dog right here is gonna learn uh, recall first. So what I wanna first do with this dog is I wanna uh, get the dog to understand what the collar means. So these collars, I'm using the Dogtra 280. It goes up to 127. Shelby's range right now is around a 14 or a 15. Um, most of us can't feel that. So that's this dog's working level. Got a lot of distractions. I got a couple of dogs in another room. I just turn the music down. But whenever you're starting remote collar training, you want to be in a, as much of a non-distractive place as possible. I don't recommend doing it on grass to start, just because it has a lot of sense. If you have an underground fence system, I recommend doing it off property as well, just so there's no confusion, because the dog has been trained when they feel pressure, they're actually, actually supposed to stop, and we're actually trying to get the dogs to come to us. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use any words at all. I'm just gonna use the constant button. Again, this has got three buttons, Nick, Pager, which is vibrate and continuous. The way I train dogs is I train them on the continuous button because I go with the pressure on, pressure off theory of dog training. All right, so I'm gonna uh, demonstrate what I'm doing so I can focus on the dog and then I'll explain it. Let's go, good job. You know, lower it down to 15. Good, good job. All right, that's stage one. You'll never have to do stage one again. That's how you introduce the dog. All I'm doing is I'm trying to get this dog to understand pressure. Huh, what's that? turn towards my handler, the, the pressure is gone, my handler is excited, I go running over to my handler. Awesome stuff. Now I'm gonna mark that pressure with a command. So uh, Shelby wants, Shelby's owner wants to be trained with here. I prefer here. The reason why I prefer here is because I like to do a lot of outdoor stuff. Beaches, the woods, and when you say here, it really travels. Also, a lot of you guys have already been telling your dogs to come and the dog doesn't listen, so it doesn't really matter if we switch the word up or not. So I'm going to do the same protocols where I'm going to say the name of the dog, Shelby. The word here, as soon as I say the word here, I'm going to apply the constant button, which is pressure. As soon as Shelby commits, commits, the button is off, my praise is in, you'll see me get excited. Another thing, I always do it when the dog is facing away from me. Putting a dog into a sit while it's facing you and calling it, that really gives you a false sense that your dog um, understands recall. That will never most likely be happening in the real world. I also like to start off on a four to six foot leash. If I can't get that instant turn, that head turn from four to six feet, I'm not gonna get it from 40 feet. So all I really care about right now is this. So I'm gonna always try to position myself behind the dog when I do it. Shelby here, good job. So I'm lowering my numbers now, I'm down to 14. Shelby here, good. I'm gonna go down to 12. Just because 
I can definitely tell that Shelby feels it. I'm trying to get to the lowest levels, the lowest levels. That's, that's acceptable. Shelby here, good job, buddy, look at that. Now I'm actually gonna lower my excitement level because uh, you know coming to me is pretty awesome. So I can, I can actually lower my excitement level a little bit right now. Shelby here, good. Shelby here, good job. So right now, I did that about six to seven times. What I want you to do is I actually want you to do that about 24 to 36 times. I really want you to start imprinting and you're getting some awesome muscle memory in these dogs that when they hear their name and hear and feel pressure on, I don't care what they're doing, Oh, come on, daddy. That's what I'm looking for. So here's a great example, guys, of Michael, the owner, who owns Shelby, doing this for the very first time. He does, he's not a dog trainer. He, um, up until right now, his dog really wasn't trained. He's never held a remote collar. Uh, so he's gonna start doing this as well to see if we can start duplicating what I was doing. So what, a good thing that I do is I'm gonna get the dog's attention and you're gonna try to back the dog off me. Shelby here. Good. Good girl. Show me here. Good. Good. Now we're going to try something um, sort of like step three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the leash. Dog always knows when that leash is dropped. We're going to try, this, try the same thing. Shelby here. Good. Shelby here. Good job, buddy. Good, 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 good. There you go. Oh, awesome. Good. Let's go. Shelby here. Good. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Good job. Let's go. All right. I'm going to do that now 24 or 36 times. So what you're going to do is with a leash dropped and you're getting that recall, the next step after that, guys, get yourself a 30-foot leash. Let the dog drag it, and you want to start getting that really intense turnaround. This is step one of introducing a remote collar to your dog, setting up muscle memory, shaping, foundation work, all for off-leash recall. So when you see a lot of the dogs that I work with that turn on a dime when they're running towards the beach or a ball, every dog I start the same way. Jeff Gelman, Solid Canine Training, madly in love with you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for sharing. Can't wait to talk to you again.